Police are now blaming a 14-year-old boy for pulling the trigger in a deadly store robbery. And they believe an older teenager helped him. Tonight at 5 o'clock, our own crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson spent the entire day digging through court records. And he found out the 18-year-old accomplice wasn't even supposed to be there at that store. Learning that police believe the 14-year-old did the shooting here at the Dollar General, we're learning more about the 18-year-old, including information about him being banned from the Dollar General. This is the 18-year-old Cumberland police say is behind a holdup that turned deadly. Stephen Shepard faces felony armed robbery. Right now, Shepard is behind bars at Marion County Jail's main location. Monday, around 9 p.m., Andrea Manning and her fiancé, Greg Rowley, seen in this photo, stopped at the Dollar General for toothache medicine. Greg and Andrea's 10-year-old daughter stayed in the car when the robbery happened with Andrea inside. When her fiancé went to the door to check her safety, police say he and the 14-year-old crossed paths, resulting in Greg being shot dead. Family and friends set up this GoFundMe account to help with funeral and immediate living expenses for his fiance and would-be stepdaughter. Now, the 14-year-old shooting suspect is here at juvenile detention, awaiting an initial hearing. As for the 18-year-old accomplice, Eyewitness News uncovered court records that show on October 30th, a Dollar General clerk reported Shepard and his two siblings stealing merchandise from the store. A Cumberland police officer arrested Shepard for theft and told his mother he and her two other children are banned from the store forever. In this new case against Shepard, prosecutors have already filed a motion about needing more time. If the judge grants prosecutors that extra time, it'll give them 72 hours to finalize their charges against the teenagers for what happened here at the Dollar General. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.